Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Troy with Sarpedon on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had finally taken... Actually, we can just we circle this prevail. for a second. We had, uh, well, we, we were about to finally take Talos, which is what we're going to be doing now. We also got once again invaded by Rhodes. Uh, they have a, a, a small army Not coming up behind as well. They might very well attack Talmasos and immediately go for the siege next turn. Uh, but I couldn't not take Tloss right now because it's driving me crazy because they would have just recruited more units again and I'd be back to square one again. So I have to take this opportunity. Uh, this should be a pretty easy battle even though the game is saying it's like half and half but that's okay. Uh, and then once we deal with that, even if they were to take Telmosos, which would be absolutely terrible, especially if they sack it or, or, or loot and occupy it, um, even if that were to happen we'd probably, you know, be okay. Um, but we have a okay garrison here and it's got walls and I think we'll be okay. But Eh, we'll see. Um, I could even recruit a general there just as a like an extra general to help out, but I don't think that's really useful enough. Uh, and finally, we uh, oh, we also took Felos next last time as well, which I'm guessing is how that's pronounced, but God knows. Um, we also got a legendary or had a legendary or epic, sorry, uh, agent who's now gone again. We already used him, but he's uh, he's passed on to the afterlife once more. Um, and I can have another spy. Because reasons. Because I have this tier 2 now. Of course I can. I didn't really think about that. That said, I don't think I want another spy. Because I think that, as it turns out, spies seem to be quite good at being embedded in an army. Uh, maybe other agents are too. I have no idea yet. But spies certainly do. Uh, I think priestesses are pretty good at it too. But anyway, the point is um, that I don't have another army to put another spy in right now. So I, And I don't want to pay 340, whatever upkeep it is, uh, 354 for another spy right now. Which I, I wonder if that goes up every time you have an extra army as well. Like, I don't know if that actually adds up. We do, uh, we are able to recruit a priestess as well, and I think I do want to recruit a priestess. But we have to take Tlos first so we can make this the established spy network. And then we can recruit a spy here, or a, um... A priestess here at level 3. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let's do the battle. This is, again, it's it's somewhat favor like decent uh, in terms of battle. It's like half and half, but I think we'll be totally fine here. Um, so let's do it. Yeah, like if I were to auto resolve it, it'd be a Capmian victory, which is this game's Pyrrhic victory, because I'm pretty sure this is because it, this, is, this happened before the term Pyrrhic victory, because Pyrrhic victory or like Pyrrhic is based on, like, is it, isn't it based on a general called Pyrrhus or whatever the hell, something along those lines. Um, and he had such a crappy victory that they started calling it Pyrrhic victory. Like, they all made fun of him. <laughs> what a Pyrrhic victory! It's like, uh, I don't know if any of you watch Community, or have ever watched Community. There's um, a character called Britta. And if you mess something up really badly, you call it Britta-ing it. So, I think that's uh, it's similar to that. Anyway, anyway. Um, so we have uh, two entrances right here. Oh, we could have some lovely javelins thrown over the top for my here if, if we're not getting shot back and then we have two entrances here as well and that looks like that's it man i need to turn i could have sworn i turned that off actually so you don't hear the notification anymore but anyway that is that is someone subbing to my youtube channel um because obviously normally i stream but apparently it's still on uh anyway so let's split up the troops shall we let's put uh two slingers here two slingers here uh, two chariots on this side, one chariot on this side, and then the javs. Harpies! Uh, and then we'll split up the troops as well. Let's split like three of these here, four of these here. Doesn't really matter that much, but you guys in the center for now. You can stay there as well. Okay, it looks, looks good. Let's go. This is, unless they study out, this is mostly gonna be the same old, same old. We're just gonna sit there and shoot at them for a while. Okay, they're. Furthest range is all the way over there. Although these guys have range as well, so we gotta be a little bit careful. But I am just gonna move up. Start shooting. So anyway, I started blasting. We're gonna go straight up in there. Maybe even closer. Also, they hide. They have like a... Uh, hide... Oh, actually, just only hide forest. I thought they had like a... Oh no, yeah, there you go. Hide, scrub, and forest, and also strider, so... Speed and combat penalties caused by terrain are ignored. Stalk, this unit can move hidden in any terrain. And then something that's completely irrelevant. Uh, okay, right. Let's get you guys up as well. And this time, I'm actually going to move up the rest of my troops, like, kind of a little bit sooner as well. Let's go there. There's an archer there. Okay, let's stay out of range now. In fact, let's get two of you over here. One, and I'll take one from over here as well. Actually, you know what? 
take one the of foe these. Has there. Your hidden units. And then I'll take one of these guys. Okay, we are shooting. We have been sighted. Okay, I don't really want to waste my ammo on the general, to be honest. Hit the shield the spear unit. This person's on. Oh, that's the previous general. Oh man, we are ruining this guy though. Maybe I should keep focusing on him. But you're gonna do a lot of damage to them. Yeah, you can see the health dropping real quick right now. Just do whatever you can do. Uh, what else we got? Alright, you guys are all gonna move up as well. Let's get you up here. Actually, let's do two of you over there. Two of you over here. And you guys are just gonna move up to the center. Okay. Right. They're all retreating. Well, in that case, keep hitting, hitting this unit for now. Let's kill the general, I guess. These jabs do a lot of damage. I mean, it's kind of a waste to use our high damage stuff on the general, but... Well, I mean, it's still good to kill a general, too. It's just that he wouldn't Victory really be that much of is close enough to danger, taste. I think. He's running. He's still firing, despite being broken. And... We survive that. It's a waste of a volley right there. Okay, that should hit him, and that should kill him. And he's gone. See you later. Goodbye. Farewell. Etc. Alright, let's get you in there, since you move hidden and all that. Are they all just like straight up retreating at this point? Oh, they're all over here now. Hello, welcome. Welcome to my humble abode. You guys are firing, even though, again, they're not actually in range of you. I see them firing now. At least I think I saw some firing, maybe not. Yeah, well, no, no. Yeah, see, these guys are firing. I know at the end, they're back as well. Yeah, whatever, keep doing it. Uh, okay, you gotta be a little bit careful. This guy, I could probably kill him too. But again, in this case, hitting the shield of spears, one or two volleys, don't do that. I don't know what you're doing. Don't... Why would you have to get all... Uh, what's, what's, what's wrong with you, huh? You could've just stood exactly where you were. There's no need for you to move all over the place. One or two good volleys in here, this should just evaporate. They've got, still got two furs a unit with like a fur of their health left, so a, one good volley will kill like a couple dozen of them. Clear that. Oh, there you go. I was gonna say. Clearly that volley wasn't good enough, but then we just murdered a load of them. These guys are pretty, these harbors are pretty good in melee as well, so I'll leave them in here for now. Maybe don't fire at my own units anymore? I mean, it's just an idea. I would like them to route soon, because I don't really want to be in melee very long, if I can avoid it. Especially with you, those guys chucking their javelins at my low-armored harpies. That was very painful. Ow. Stop it. No, not another volley. How dare you. Okay, we're good. Stop shooting! What are you doing?! This one, you're just shooting at my own men, on purpose. How is it going over here? We are being shot at. Okay, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Stay out of range of that one. If you guys go over here, we might... Oh, wow, the range. The range! Oh my god, do you get, like, bonus of range on, like, if something's below you or something? Maybe that's what's going on. If I just, like, sit close enough, I can waste all my ammo on them, which is pretty good. Because I, I gotta remember, like, these jabs do a lot of damage, to be honest. One of your units has no more ammunition. Okay. Harpies are out of ammo. Might be able to kill this general with a couple of volleys, to be honest. Axes! Yeah, we're gonna take some damage from hunters, but... we do a lot of damage here with these volleys as well. You guys are throwing as well. You are really not firing that much, so yeah, let's bring you up a little bit. These guys are actually out of ammo as well, wow. Okay, fine. I guess we're fighting. I guess it's go time. Uh, Are you not- you're not throwing your- oh, there you go. I was gonna say, what the hell. A, a nicely unshielded unit right there. Right for the murdering. You may have been chucked at as well. Yeah, I lost two javelins right here. That was my mistake. Let's get you guys in position too. The oh, they're charging in. Alright, hello. 
Sarpedon, where are you? Why are you back here, buddy? Let's get you in there, friend. He's a pretty decent melee fighter. I really ought to use him more often. I always kind of leave him at the back until it's too late. Some skirmishers. Let's get you away from the skirmishers, preferably. I thought I had two of these things over here. Did I have oh, I had two on the left side. Right, of course, yes. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I kind of want to flank around, but then this unit's going to just hit me a lot. Can we kill it, please? I don't know why you guys haven't thrown at it yet. I've been throwing at other units the whole time. Get out of ammo. Get out of here. Go on, scram. Okay. Murdering them. Kill him. Sarpon on back in there, please. They've charged out here as well. That's okay. Hit these guys, please. Can you hit them? Probably not. Just hit whatever you can hit at this point. How is the general doing on their side? It's getting pretty low. Alright, let's get you guys around, because this is not really doing a whole lot. In fact, you know what? Well, I have chariots. What am I doing? Just send the chariots around. What the... What the, f what the heck am I... Okay. Another heavy Anatolian slinger. Wait, can I not... Is this... No, I can move here. I just can't set him up properly. That's okay. I would like to be properly set up first, though. Jeez, really? I don't have any space here? That's ridiculous. Okay, just get in there, then. I don't care. Charging uphill, probably not the best, but... Straight up into the next unit, so go straight for the archers, really. Yes. Your hero is under attack. Finally. Alright, route this man. Actually, he's not gonna loot. Route, is he? Oh, he's currently... Ar oh, he's... Yeah, okay. He's uh, Ar Aristea up right now, which... That was a... Bit of a misplay. Uh, again, I have these lovely chariot units, which uh, should really do what they're supposed to be do doing. Should really do what they're designed to do. Okay, you guys are in. Uh, you know, it's pretty shattered already as well. Let's just get out to, to the middle. And you guys should be able to kill that unit off without too much trouble as well. So let's get over there. Still have a unit as well. Last time in the other battle, though, we had. Um, I think we had two units left, and they all routed. So hopefully, if we kill enough of the stuff around here, those two final units will just right here as well. So I don't have to worry about actually killing them. Although killing that one shouldn't be too much trouble. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, they're losing morale. I think that's it. Or not? They're routing. They're routing. There we go. He lost a decent amount of health on a Sarpet on himself as well. End this shizzle. All right, a good victory. Boom. Never feels quite as good w without blood, but when it does arrive, it's gonna look good. Occupy that, all right. The benefits There's our second experience. full province for ourselves. Faction destroyed. Get out of here. They were my friends for like the entire campaign, but that's not. I don't care. Bold. That was before, wasn't it? Yeah, we got that one earlier. Level up as well. Good. Right. Uh, Tulos. Okay, so they have a recruitment province or recruitment thing here, and they also have the wrong of those here. So let's get rid of that as well. Bring it back to square one. Nice. Um, we now can, however, use a. Or could in a, establish a spy network, which allows me to recruit those agents at a higher rank. The thing is, do I want to? Because as of right now, if I were to recruit a single agent, I would actually lose food. Now, once my army gets back into this territory, I gain some again from... I think this is it? Yeah, minus 10% to the upgrade cost of all units, so I would, I would be okay again. But in any other province, I'm not. Having said that, I will build that building everywhere, I think, but even so... I keep also, in any province where I have this, I really ought to also have a garrison building. But I don't know what else I'm going to build here, because there's still a lot more recruitment buildings to build. Like, I definitely want this. And I also definitely want uh, the altar to Ares, because it gives me charge bonus and melee recruitment upon recruitment. And this is going to be my recruitment province, I guess. Um, then there's the chariot building. That's another one, so I, that means I'd have to get rid of the trading post already just to get that. Also this, I guess. 
So I, I technically have four more building slots. So let's see, could I, could I actually currently get there if I got rid of those two as both of those? Um, although I guess I'd want this for the like. Okay, so if I had three building slots, I I need one, uh, two, because I'm pretty sure I want this. Although, do I renowned Kopesh fighters? I don't know, I'd have to compare them. They may not be the unit I want, because I'm pretty sure I'm sticking to most of the axe units. But either way, so one definitely. Um, then two. That one I definitely want as well. The garrison building would give me an Anatolian uh, skirmishes, which I don't really care about. This I don't really care about. So, still only two. And I want a, tel a temple, so that would be number three. So yeah, I would definitely want three buildings here. And I would kind of also want this, but then I'd have to get rid of that. So I think either we just don't build this into a recruitment province, or we have to build our... Like, because this has a port, so that, that takes up one slot, which is a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, either we build our recruitment province elsewhere, or we just don't have access to the Kopesh fighters and renowned Kopesh fighters, which I guess isn't that huge of a deal. It also gives us massive minus uh, unhappiness. Also, big administration efficiency for enacting world decrees, though. So that's something. Um, yeah, I think I think we just haven't we just don't build that one, I guess. But we'll we'll see. For now, we're okay. Definitely want a temple, though. But we need the happiness. Are we okay to actually continue production here now? Because we are losing quite a lot of yeah, we're losing a thousand food. I mean, that's actually kind of a problem at this point. If this rebels, though, which it would do in four free turns at this rate. Um, yeah, that's slightly problematic, isn't it? Isn't it even? Um, I'm, I'm, it's nice to know that I have a thousand food in the bag whenever I need it, though, I guess. So I guess I'm not as poorly off as I thought I was. I can also actually increase happiness by six from this, which would kind of counteract... Well, in fact, this only... Yeah, so I would be down to minus five. Um, but if I make a small detour for this... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'll, I'll do that. I'll recruit the agent, and then I'll switch to this, and then I'll increase that again. And then it will eventually rebel, but so be it. Okay, so... Because right now, if I, if I actually do no production, and I do ha uh, organized games, we actually get um, zero happiness, which is nice. But we definitely... I want to recruit the uh, priestess first, I think. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, cool. So, oh, next turn we're going to take this chisel heritage. out. Uh, I can't build anything that I want to build. I'm fully built up. Do I have any diplomacy to look at? We are starting to get towards no longer being unreliable. Thank frick for that. Lycomedes is Dolopians. Dolo Dolo yeah, Dolopians, probably. Dolopio. Uh... They want a military alliance. I have no interest. Apeosos wants peace. I am not planning on attacking them anytime soon. But could I get pulled into a war there? Because he's currently war with... Not with not with Hector or Paris. If they were to attack this faction... Like, I don't really get much Trumpeton out of this right makes now. Much of his supposed so if I were to peace out and then they get attacked by one of my allies i just get more untrustworthy again so there's, there's, there's no reason to peace out right now is what i'm trying to say um yeah i'm keeping that and i'm keeping that i think yeah that's fine i mean i do want the resources really instead of this right now because i'm not going to recruit any arby's for a while so maybe i built that as the third building yeah that seems fair I'll, I'll get well then again i lose resources building it again i don't know how much it costs to build can I see? No. It probably costs some gold as well. You know what? I'll keep it. Screw it. I mean, I, I might lose resources, but it's not a, it's not a oh huge difference either way, I think. Uh, okay. What else? What else? What else? What do you want to do? I think we're good. Oh, nice. You can get rid of that if you want. Um, oh, right. Yes, a level up. That's I knew, I knew it was Lord. something. Okay, so do we want anything here? Okay, yes. Yeah. So we have... I think we are going to take one of these two, but let's have a look at the other stuff next first. We have... Um, minus 50% armor. 100 meter range on a single unit, I guess. Meh. Can also reduce morale and... Or... This reduces the cooldown, I guess. Yes. Or we have... Um, self and allies in range. of 15 meter range, not a whole lot. Flanking defense. 
Remove, improve, reduces the bonus effects of the attacker when this unit is being attacked from the sides or from behind. Eh. Uh, and then that specialization makes it 30 meter range, and that gives us extra melee defense as well. I think I'm going to skip both of these. I mean, eh, for now, anyway. I'm going to grab one of these two. So, right, so we have the choice of either always beginning battle as fresh, which means that if we're raiding, or if we're in march stance, at least that's what I'm assuming it means, if we're in march stance, we are still fresh regardless. Or we can have additional fatigue resistance on top of the fatigue, re fatigue resistance we already have for fatigue reduction. I think having the always starting as fresh is pretty useful. Like, that means that I can raid. And raiding seems to be really good in this game. So that means I can raid without any real repercussions, essentially. Um, oh, wow. That's pretty insane. What about this? Oh my... Okay, that's the one we go for, definitely, on this side. I mean, I, this plus 5 recruitment rank agents seems pretty damn nifty. But uh, 400 food and influence... Or 400 food per turn and then the influence of this province, but still. And then we can add an extra 100 wood, uh, wood per turn or 60 stone per turn as well. Yeah, definitely that. I think we're going to always begin as fresh. Let's do that. Seems really, really strong, to be honest. <sighs> okay. End the turn. End my life. Oh, right, I have to fast forward that shizzle. I wish there was a middle ground here where the movement was fast, but it still moved the camera to where shit was happening. Because I know there's stuff happening that I'm not seeing right now. And I want to see everything, but I want to see it fast. Hmm. Not a terrible offer, I suppose. A thousand wood. But I don't want to be military allies to anyone else right now. Ooh, they're, they're feeling the pressure. They're like, shit, he's coming after us next. And you're goddamn right about that. Alright, road's coming up. What's he gonna do? Oh, wait. Oh, he's just... Okay, where'd the other army go? Nowhere. Okay, she failed again. Good. Poseidon's frenzied stallion. Ah, oh, stop doing things to me. The mighty Poseidon famously despises the city of Troy and yearns to tear down its proud walls, which, according to legend, he was forced to build by Zeus. <laughs> so he built them himself. Why would you want to tear it down? The tempestuous Olympian often sends earthquakes to the Trojan capital, causing the very ground to shake with rage and throwing its population and armies into disarray. Prior to the disaster, the horses of Troy, recognizing their divine, their diving cr creator's impending fury, kick and neigh as if the lords, Lord of the Depths himself spurred a great stallion on the charge of the city's ramparts. Okay, at least that doesn't hurt me, thankfully. Demolish this shit out of that province. Well demolished. Okay, there's a faction I might want to get become friends with. There's a man I could follow. Alright, what is this army actually? I'm not paying attention. Spearmen, militia, club warriors. They're like still low tier, but okay ish. Also, 80 freaking morale. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Holy shit. 25 armor only. Just shoot him a bunch. Uh, yeah, nothing particularly special in here. I, was not, I don't see any units that are like super good anyway. Right. First of all, let me check that faction that we just met. It's like a non-aggression pact. Uh, that, that was this one. And we are indeed good friends. Are you? Yeah, you're allied to Troy and... Okay, that should be a fairly safe this alliance then. This is a good time to talk. This is a good time to talk. Let's get some more wood. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. Two. One. Oh, not that much. Jesus. Actually, he has, the, he has what he needs. Like, he could actually give it to me as well. That's the crazy part. Yep, sounds good. Uh, we can actually go for Defensive Alliance for 12, but no. I like how this is minus 2, but Defensive Alliance is 12. How does that even... How does that make sense, friend? You are at war with Troy. Okay, so I don't want to become non-aggression friends with you. Not Non-aggression friends. Non-aggression pact with you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. Uh, anything else, actually? Freaks. Nah, I think we're okay. Oh man, they really want to become an ally. Uh, an ally. And you still want a piece of that. It's actually better than before, but no. Oh, although, it, I just noticed they are actually now at war of everyone. They are now at war of Hector, Troy, Troy, Paris, etc. That whole alliance <laughs> went against them. Um, basically, the turn before I said I shouldn't be allied to them. So I, I could do it now, but I imagine my allies would like me less for it, so let's not, let's not bother. Again, I'm not getting enough out of it for it to be worth it, to be honest. 
Right, I don't want to upgrade that. I have plenty of things to build here, though. So let's go ahead and build set things. I can build arable land. Can I still build the expensive one? I definitely can't. Um, what is this place? Who are you? Um, yeah, let's go the expensive one then. Actually, let's build it in the second slot for no real reason other than it makes sense to me. Uh, okay, that's all I got. Good, good. Let's go attack an army, I guess. Uh, oh, I was going to recruit an agent. Yes, let's do that now. Let's do all this stuff now. So first of all, I could recruit a spy as well, but I don't want another spy because I don't want to pay that much stuff. I do, we'll take another RA priestess. Can we get a priestess of our... Hera. Hera is one of the ones I was going for, I believe. No, it was... Who was it? God, this is not... Aphrodite. Damn. Aphrodite or Ares will do. And there's no... Neither one of those two available right now. Uh, that's not the one. Aphrodite or Ares. There's literally... Literally every single other one, isn't there? There's... There's a total of... No, there must be... A, yeah, there's a double. There's Apollo. Because I was going to say, there's a total of seven... There's five. <laughs> that's that's pretty unlucky. I gotta be honest. <laughs> There's five different priestesses here, and not one for the one I want. I mean, it's only a plus one per turn, but it does add up. Like every ten turns is one less turn of uh, loss, basically, because again, you lose ten per turn. Also, the Hecatomb is available in two turns. I need to do one of those soon. Um. God, do I want? I guess I'll just wait a turn then. That's really annoying. I wanted to start my production up again. I'm losing a lot of food doing this. Oh, it's only 7.40 now. How the hell did that happen? What in tarnation's going on here? I have no idea why that's redu reduced, but okay. Um, anyway. Sarpedon of Lycia. Sarpedon of murdering this guy. Is he gonna run away? Let's find out. I still need to recruit my final... Drive I can do it after this, back. my chariot. Okay, that's like, almost out of absorbable. I haven't done a battle in a fortification yet. They don't actually build a. F it's not set us sets up a defensive camp, allowing for replenishment regardless of territory. But you don't actually set up a defensive camp. It seems. Um. They get melee defense and morale. Okay, well let's just fight it normally and see, because I I can't see anything special about this, but maybe the map's wrong or something. Um. Yeah, it should be a pretty straightforward battle. Let's just fight it manually. It should be fine. Maybe the map's wrong. Or maybe there's some stuff here that I just can't see on the map. Like, it's not like a proper fort like you see in other Total War games, but they still have some, like, little walls or something. Like, palisades or something. Or it's just a normal battle. And I guess they don't actually set up any kind of defensive thing. They just have bonuses. Okay, fair enough. That's unfortunate. It's a bit, a bit of a shame, to be honest, but... Well. Right, let's, uh, oh, it's a cliff here. It's annoying. Everything's annoying today. Let's do it like this, then. Chariots. Put one on the left, two on the right. And my harpy ladies just sit over here somewhere. I don't know. Sit in the back for now. Then a line of my main boys. And my flanky boys on the flanks, as you might expect the flanky boys to go. And Sarpedon. You can sit right there. I can't move my camera any further back this way. Is that because there's a cliff here? Are you, sit are you kidding me right now? I actually, I can't move my camera in this bit. What in the world? Or up here, apparently. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. Right, are you coming towards me or what? Wait, it looks like they are. Surely not. Surely not. I mean, it's, it's okay if they do. I just, I would have set up in a better position, I think, if I if I'd known that. If I'd expected this. Okay. Um Right. This is uh, unexpected. So much so that I've been I've been caught off guard for a moment here. I've got to think about what exactly I wanna do. They definitely are. No, are they? I mean, yeah, they are. They're just doing... Because this cliff's in the way. They're, they're all over the damn place. They're going to come in like one unit at a time here. Also, hold the space bar. It looks so weird. 
It works well in this game though, like all the stuff is gone, so there's no way you can't see your units, unlike in some Total War games recently. Well, why don't you guys just head around here for now? Are you coming straight for my boys? The Club Warriors actually have a ranged weapon. For a second I thought it said ammunition 50, but that's my own unit. I keep thinking, I can't see I can't actually see the enemy units. Okay, I don't want to get hit by the skirmishers on my my voice, to be honest, so let's try not to. Honor and duty! Why is this... Oh my god, he is miles away from the rest of the battle. Oh boy, that is unfortunate for him. We actually routed the unit already. Holy crap. Alright, chuck them jabs, my boys. Uh, okay, I totally forgot to keep an eye on you, but it looks like you're okay. Uh, I also kind of forgot about you. That's okay as well. Let's send you... send you around this way. Here come of the chariots. Get straight up in there. Up in this bitch. You get into those skirmishers. Maybe they won't see you coming. Who knows? We might get lucky, eh? Or maybe they definitely will. But then they'll run straight into this next unit. How about that? Your hero is under attack. Your hero is absolutely heroic. Wait, hold on. Did I actually attack these guys? I could have sworn I attacked that unit. I don't know how I managed to click this one. I guess there's a couple units here that I maybe clicked on. That was a pretty successful charge, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was, like, good initiative, I guess, but... Victory <laughs> is close I feel like that's not what taste. I said to do. Honor and duty. Are my javelineers ladies? Yes, they are here. I mean, there's still a general <laughs> all the way back there, so I don't know what's actually going on here. Okay, try to get out of those spear units, because they will actually kind of destroy you a little bit. Get that one of your units has no more ammunition. Actually took a decent amount of damage on some of the units here. Again, they are up against spearmen who technically counter them, so that's the main problem we generally have. Let's kind of pull back with you guys, because I don't want you against those by yourselves. By yourselves? Okay, you were turned the other way. I didn't realize. Just, just run away. RPs, you've done well. But this is becoming a little bit dangerous for you. Get in there. You're running around, murdering everything that's not screwed on. You've done absolutely nothing this battle, have you? Go and kill their general. No, don't do that. That'd be stupid. Just wait for him to come over here. You might want to get back from there. Get in all this nonsensical stuff here. Keep murdering them. It's uh, kind of turned into a, a bit of a mess, but we have basically one already. We're just waiting for this unit to not be gone anymore. Well, I think it might route in a second because everything just shattered. So maybe I should start heading up there. Yep, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. I don't know if I'll be able to reach anything with these guys because they're pretty heavy, but... I'm pretty heavy, dude. I don't think you can keep up with me. I mean, just the uh, heavy stuff. Harpies, you are faster than the spearmen for show. Well, you did a lot, uh, Sarpedon. You got, well, actually, you got nine kills. You, did, you didn't do nothing. I, I actually thought they just, you just sat there doing nothing. Slinger's getting a decent amount of kills as well. And again, I think they mostly just do health damage, to be honest. I'm also pretty sure I have enough movement left to just finish this army off after they run away, so I'm not too like, uh, fussed if I don't kill everything off here, but I'll certainly try, although the general's definitely gonna get away, there's just no way we can kill him. There's just no way! I might be killing my own troops there, so let's be, let's be careful with that. Actually, can you chase him down and then you just fuck off? Kill that unit for me. Alright, murderize that unit too. That one looks like it's gone already. I'm not going to kill him, but I mean, least wounding him would be useful. Wound him some more, please. Alright, I think that's the only general, the only unit left on. One more volley, maybe. Quickly! Alright, never mind. I didn't want you to volley at him anyway. It was a mere joke. 194 kills for the Harpies, yeah, they're, they're just so good. 
I really should use the two in the army. I just don't know what I would take out for them. It would have to be a chariot or a slinger, but... It just doesn't feel right. I mean, I could just keep one in, but I really want four. It just drives me crazy not having an even number of them. Like, the only thing I don't mind having an even, uneven number of is my front line stuff. Anyway, 12% replenishment. It's pretty nifty. Uh, yeah. That's what I'll take. And yeah, only the general survived, so actually, it's really good. Oh, he ran... Okay, I didn't expect him to run that way. On the move. Can I reach you? Oh, I can. I have to trespass for it, but... I mean, I'm probably gonna attack them soon anyway, so... <laughs> Who cares, am I right? Did I get a level up? I don't think I did. I don't see any level up reports. I'm only trespassing. Did I? Oh, I already trespassed. Did I? Guess I did right here. Is that not? That's not my territory. Yeah, all right, fair enough. You got me. Engage the foe. I sure did. Uh, I bet you this guy's gonna kill like a billion of my troops if I not absorb this. Well, you know what? Let's find out. How does this work in this game? Like I should lose nothing basically. Oh my god, that was brutal. Jesus Christ, Sarbon. Okay, I didn't lose anyone. Nice. Now I know for the future I can out of all those. Because I was all I was tempted to manually fight that. Experience. Just in case. Oh, replenishment. Okay, they do have a full stack in there, so I basically have to take this town first. Although in this case, if I were to do that, they would just run up here and take that. So I kinda have to take out the, the main force first, I think. And they're gonna have harpies in here. They also marched just now. Interesting. Uh, and it's a walled settlement, so that is not... Oh, God, this is never going to work. I have to definitely... I have to... For sure, 100%, I have to definitely... Okay, sorry. I, I, I have to um, ambush them. There's no way I can do this any other way. Staunch ally. Implacable enemy. All right, we skip past that to go for 400 food per turn and two influence. Like this later on isn't really a lot anymore, but I feel like early on, 400 food is just too good not to do. And then either 100 wood or 60 stone is also pretty darn good. I don't know which one of those is better, to be honest. They will sing. It's, it's actually difficult time. to make a decision there. I think. Actually, got rank four on this guy. Whoa. Um, all right. Well, since I am I at war of you yet? King Sarpedon is free to oh, stay. Sorry, I mean, are you? Have, yeah, no, I was going to ask if you got any relations with anyone. No. Uh, if I were to, oh, God, the movement. I mean, they're in march stands, but I feel like even non march stands, I could probably reach this place. So I can't really ambush until I get here. So let's run back into our own territory. Move as one. We must keep watch. Can't recruit because I'm in March stands. But yeah, I think I want to ambush here, because then if he goes that way, it's okay. If he goes this way towards Felos, then so be it. I don't know what kind of chance I have for ambushing here. My Probably 45. Oh, 70 right there. We might be able to. I mean, we did it with 45 before, but okay, we'll, we'll probably do that. Uh, and I haven't got anything to build here right this second, so I think we're good for this turn. That was a solid turn of events right there. Initiate Hecatomb that's in two turns. Unless it's in one turn? Was that still the same turn? Two turns, okay. Alright. And hopefully next turn, I don't know how often these refresh, but hopefully next turn there will be a uh, someone who actually favors one of the gods I want to favor available. I do like my army a lot. I think maybe the four flanking axemen don't really belong. I think maybe I should just make... Like, that's what I guess I could do. I could make more frontline units, like get rid of those four, then get three more frontline units, and then just get one more harpy. Harpy? Because we are about to be able to uh, recruit six harpies, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think I want more than two in an army, because it's just overkill. Like, they're so, so good. This is a disgusting deal. What do you want from me, man? Um... Piece for 302 wood. You're about to die. You know what? I'll take that. Can I get any better? No, that's the best you will. Okay, sure. I'm sure the others won't like it, but he's gonna die next turn, so whatever. Also, what the fuck is that? Rhodes. Shit. Is that the for Oh, that's the agent. Failure. Looks like a critical failure because she's gone again. Gives me a couple turns of relaxation. Ooh. 
Ramesses III, divine ruler of distant Egypt, sends his regards as one powerful ruler to another and sends a priceless statue as a gesture of goodwill. What should you do with such a gift? We can trade it for gold, so we can trade it for bronze, we can trade it for stone, or we can keep the gift. Uh, we get 250 gold, 600 bronze. That's kind of a lot of bronze, to be honest. Uh, 500 stone. Or four turns of influence and happiness faction-wide. Nope, definitely not that one. 250 gold is probably the best. I mean, 600 bronze is pretty damn nice as well, but 250 gold? It's the rarest resource. Uh, I mean, we're, yeah, we're gaining everything. Yeah, I'll go. I'll take gold. All right, she critical field indeed. Good, good. Oh crap! Rebellion imminent. Did I? Wait. Oh, that's not. That's my. Wait, what? What? Oh, this place over here. Right. I totally forgot. I have another place now. Um, the capital of this is. Kai. Wait, hold on. No, it's this one. Right, yes, that one. Okay, I need to just run over there now. Right. That's changed all my plans. Once again, unable to recruit the damn unit I wanted to recruit, because I haven't got time to do so. I have to run. Um, I mean, I imagine the Rebellion won't be able to attack on turn one, so I guess I could take a turn to recruit something. And I imagine it won't be ten units strong. Let's find out. If I lose that town, it's like the best place to ever test this theory, because I don't know. See, so let's give her the Harpies for now. Such a good unit, but they don't belong right now. Finally recruit our final actual unit. I keep my promises. That took a long time to get that. Also, we finished off our Royal Decree. We go for a wood construction cost reduction and construction cost of all temple buildings. Or we can just get our food finally. Or I can get the influence, which is also pretty nifty, since I don't think we have... No, wait, we do have eye influence everywhere right now. Yeah, it's only three turns. Oh, no, we don't. Right, not right here. Yeah, let's just start working on this one. Are we... No, we're losing it, actually. We're not even going up. Once we take these two towns, I'm sure we will, but... Oh, I'm sure we will. Uh, anyway, so this is currently... Still requiring a priestess. Zeus, that's the same five, isn't it? Son of a bitch, I guess they don't change. Unless you recruit one, maybe. Son of a gun, I don't want any of these craps. Okay, let's see which one is like one that I would potentially maybe go for. Um, you're alright, Zeus. Uh, absolutely not. Apollo is archer and missile. Plus three recruit rank of priestesses is nice, but how often does that really happen? Athena, morale spear. I do have spear units available, but no Poseidon. Is probably the best one out of the f five. I can't believe this shit. Fine, I'll just recruit one now. I can always get rid of it and recruit another one later. Or I just ignore this and just do this right now. And just don't recruit one. Yeah, that seems like the right thing to do. Okay, so that's minus seven. Provincial instability is actually going away still. What the? And then we're gonna get six from six from this, so we're actually gonna be super happy. I totally forgot it's because of provincial in, provincial instability that I'm so unhappy. Uh, we can build base building here, or I can do that. I think base building is probably better. No, it's not that. I don't know how the hell in, in the world I got there, but it's not the one I want. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna wait one turn. We'll deal with that next turn, and then we'll get over here and finally finish off this area. I feel like this is going to be a constant problem, though, trying to take out factions, is the fact that we're going to have a full stack sitting in the town, and we only have one full stack ourselves, and even though our full stack is better than their full stack, we can't take on all the rest of the crap, the garrison, to get alongside of it. It's tough. First world problems and all that. Uh, anyway, any diplomacy to be quickly checked. Lots, lots of deals we can make right now. Holy shit, the jump. Minus 4.7. Minus 93.7! I fucking hate you! Wait, I was at the top, okay. Uh, no. I'm actually not even that far away from actually just straight up confederating some people. What is actually the reason? What can for this? I do for King Sarpedon? Baseline evaluation. Relative faction strength and threats. Okay, so we just become like way stronger than a bunch of people. We just confederate them. Sounds bueno. Let's go. Anyway, for now, I think we can end the turn. 
Our income is still pretty nifty. Are we making any extra... No, this is just straight up our income right now. We are getting 191 diplomacy there. Two diplomacy there and then nothing here. Yeah, we're just gaining pretty good resources right now. Uh, and our missions are Supply Patrol and Immortal Glory, which was the Ekatu ritual, which we'll do next turn. Oh, hello, there's six... Oh, that's the rebellion. I was like, what the fuck? There's six guys over there. But it's it's them. We knew. Ended on aggression? That's fine by me. Just means I can get it again later for, for more money. Barter, hey, it's the same fucking deal. I've seen one billion times, which I've said no to every single time. Still not changing my mind. Rebellion. When they're raiding right away as well. How dare you. Alright, so this is not actually positive, isn't it? Or zero. Good enough. Alright. Uh, this army is finally the way it's supposed to be. It's about damn time. Uh, we are fully replenished. Yeah, let's just kill this. We're just gonna have all this, I think. Goodbye. Destroy the foe. Also, just to show you guys, you can actually skip this stuff. You can just go through. You don't have to actually sit through that at all. Okay, took a lot of took a lot of damage on these two uh, actually ex warriors, unfortunately. Which is very annoying because now I kind of have to wait for them to fully replenish. They will serve as slaves. They will serve as slaves. No level up. Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to take several beauty. turns. I could merge and then recruit a new one, I guess. I'd have to go back there to be able to do that, though, wouldn't I? I uh, has smiled on us. That's very annoying. Unless I do what I thought I said I was going to do. Get a rid of two of them ally. and recruit two harpies. Ooh. Now that is interesting. I can afford both of them. Also, yeah, I got rid of a harpy earlier and I paid bronze for it initially, so that was a bit of a waste. Um, yeah, I like that idea, especially now that I I need I want to move. So let's get rid of these boys. See you later. You've been with me for a long time, but it's time to move on. I'm very tempted to take this first, but this army would just run rampant around here, and there's nothing I can do about it. Too much trouble. And I need to get rid of it anyway, so... Alright, we'll be fully replenished next turn. I think we're just gonna sit over here, go into ambush stands, declare war on them, basically. That's, like, the goal. Um, let's have a look at attitude towards me. Yeah, this faction doesn't like me a whole lot. We're actually quite friendly with the people over here, though. So, yeah, it's this one, and then, of course, Rhodes, who we're still at war with. Who, I don't, I never, I don't know where those four units ever went. We are only on minus 14 now. I guess they still don't want peace, because... No, I would have seen it. Also, Kaim really doesn't want peace. I don't know who the hell you are. I mean, I, I know I declared war on you by joining someone else at some point, but... Uh, yeah, precious resource available. For the, I think that's the first time ever we haven't had anything to actually build. So that's something. What a deal. Wow. Wow. Man, you are... You you are... Man, you must think pretty highly of yourself, friend. 250 gold. Holy crap. That is... Uh, that's something. Ooh. Recruitment cost. Yes. Oh, we have a full stack already. Ah, oh, there goes that faction. See, I got the free resources from them before they died. ancient land. Met some new factions, build some arable land, I build some more ar Also, how happy is this place now? Plus one, but it's only, yeah, I, I guess I killed the, uh, the thing too quickly. I could stop 113 wood. Uh, yeah, alright, it's fine, for now. Stalwart in war. Okay. Do I want this? I think so. I'm still waiting for the population growth. I'm actually almost there. Five turns. Guess I should have gone for more growth. Alright. We are fully replenished. I can actually attack this right now. Can I leave 25% movement? Yes. 45% chance for an ambush. It's not It's not quite the 70 that we need, but I'll just go here. Move, men. Actually recruited one more unit. I'll do it oh right. my god. He's probably got four harpies in there. 
Oh man, I'm glad I have two at least. <laughs> that is quite the army. Hey, yeah, I'm not cool. here. Please walk into me. Uh, two people I could possibly trade or deal with. You want to deal with me? I also have um, uh, these guys who are. God, no idea. And those guys. Okay, they're both allied to each other. I could, I could deal with them. Yes, we should talk. I'll leave it for now. And I want to do a hackatomb right now. Right now, you and me. Um, right, so I guess I could do it for Aphrodite again. That would get her up to 200, which again doesn't do anything for me necessarily. Um, I could also do it for Ares, because that would actually get me to the morale boost, but I'm not too fussed about that. I think we're just going to go for Aphrodite on this one. I could zoom it up. Bring forth the white bull. We shall complete our mission. And we did the Hecatomb, and now we have accumulate 250 favor of any god. We get a mythic unit. Oh, a mythic unit? A mythic unit? Staunch oh. ally. Implacable um, enemy. Are we going to be able to do that? Because this takes six or five turns, so it's going to be down to 150. Then we're going to gain another 80 again, which will bring me up to 230. So it's going to take another 10 turns before I can actually get her to 250. Unless I get some other way to increase this. If I build another shrine, for example. For example. Steadfast. Or if I got a freaking... I mean, that wouldn't help a, a ton, but if I got an actual Aphrodite priestess, that would be great. But it looks like these are just literally aren't changing. I guess I have to recruit them before they change, but that's such a waste of coin. I mean, the fact that it goes, costs gold as well. 28 gold is worth a lot. Anyway, you want to you wanna deal with me? King Sarpedon is free to state his case. Well, my case is that I want war. Because war never changes. You want war? Yes. You've got it. Yes. Now we're talking, friend. Let's I go. I cannot do that. Well, that's whatever. You should try at least, I guess, but it's up to you. Um, I really hope there's not a full army from Rhodes arriving now. It'd be really bad. I could probably actually just, I could probably piece out a Rhodes to be honest at this point. But then again, we're also quite close to finishing off this whole area, and then I could just go to war at Rhodes. Just out of curiosity. Mine is 19. Don't that's, try and take advantage. That's gone down real quick, hasn't it? Just out of curiosity. How much gold would you need for this? Fuck off. Oh wow, it's not even going up anymore. I guess because I can't afford that. Okay, just like... One billion of everything. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay game. Alright. Yeah, whenever something's negative, dealing is just like basically impossible. Even if it was on minus nine, which it was like last turn, it's I still wouldn't have done anything. If I do get attacked by them right now though, I could have a, a bit of a problem. Although we could afford a bit of a second army at this point. How much would it cost me? 759 for just the general, plus I guess 300. Does that actually, that's not actually counted in yet. So it's like 1,059, which means we're down to like 500 per turn, which means I could recruit maybe five, six units, depending on which units I recruit. It's not a great army, but it is definitely possible. Plus I'd have, you know, I have a lot of food in reserve right now, so. I have so much stone. Oh God, that's beautiful. Uh, I didn't go for that upgrade yet, did I? So I could still choose, because I think looking at how much stone I currently am making, I probably would go for wood, but I don't quite know. Anyway, I have nothing else to spend anything on. In fact, it's telling me here I have nothing to build. So let's go. Please move into my 45% chance of an ambush. That would be two for one if he does. I would love it. Don't go anywhere other than into my ambush. You're also free to just attack me. Like, if my ambush doesn't work, totally fine. I'd be okay with that, too. Just... Yeah, go on. Kill yourself. No, no, I'm not I'm not gonna pay you anything for nothing. I don't think... That's not how... That's not how that works. Oh, he recruited an extra dude. That's not... That's the opposite of what I wanted. Ambush foiled. Uh, well... Dar, she blows. Ally attacked. Oh, no. Hector has been attacked. On the other side of the world. Alright, do I try my 70% ambush then? I mean, I don't know if I have the sphere of influence, but if I do that. Advancing. They could definitely walk past me, but it's unlikely that they would straight up not, not walk into me, I think. Prepare 
an ambush. They don't seem to be recruiting, at least. That will never work. So that's something, I guess. Uh, right, first of all, I need to go for the food now. I think, just to have an idea, or to have a look at all the other stuff I can do. This one seems decent, but not like insane or anything. Agent action cost, I mean, how often do we really do agent action cost, to be honest? Battle speed of all units is pretty good, although 8% is like... It sounds great, but when you have a unit that has like 25 movement, 8% is like 2 extra movement. It's not, you know, it's not going to make him fucking rapid all of a sudden, but... Still. 50% melee defense of all medium infantry. Not terrible. Recruit rank of agents. What's the stuff? Let's have a look here. Because there's some things that cost resources. Upkeep cost of all units own armies faction wide. Fucking go! Uh, actually, yeah, that's, that's only... That's not even that difficult to get to. I'm, I think that's... I mean, this is terrible, and that's basically it's crap as well. But... That is definitely something I'll go to fast. Oof, that's pretty good as well. Probably make a detour for this anyway. Or food. Yeah, I think we should... Yeah, this this looks like a really good one here. Uh, 200 wood per turn is also not that far away. Okay, well, for now, either way, I want the food. Okay, what can I build here? Many things. I can upgrade the town. Let's go for level 3, shall we? On the main thing is what I'm trying to say. Actually, well, what would I build? Well, what would I build here? It's just a garrison building. It's not that good. Yari amazing. Sorry, it's just, I need to turn that off after this. I keep forgetting. Um, if I build this, I wouldn't really build... I guess I could build another temple. Yeah, that seems good. I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure if I would. Let's, let, we'll see. Hey, we'll see. Uh, and this one is upgrading in four... Well, in four turns I can upgrade, I mean. You know what I mean. Um, I haven't met anyone, I don't know why I'm looking at this. So many deals I should probably be making, to be honest. I keep being careful, but yeah, like, you're, he's a war of Paris and everyone, so I don't think it's a good one. Asia, I wouldn't be surprised if Paris goes, or, or Hector goes to war with them at some point soon. So, I don't know about that either. These guys are pretty far away, I guess, you know, I'm just gonna deal with you. Talking can do no harm. Yeah, yes, I, I agree. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, actually. Holy shit, that's way more than I thought I was going to get from that. Uh, a little bit of food. One extra food. Lovely. Just for a non-aggression pack, like, yeah, come on then. I mean, I guess if I let my untrustworthiness go away, it'd be a lot better, but... Uh, you guys... Like, yeah, they're just too close again, where I'm worried they're going to get attacked, and it's just not worth it for me. You, I don't like... And that's that's all. I don't want to do anything else, I think. You are allied and stuff. I guess I could be friends with you, but you're the one who wants a military alliance or a defensive alliance. Yes, we should Yes. Talk. You're the one who wants a defensive alliance. Yes! That's me! You're right. That's a pretty good deal as well. And you are already military alliance to Paris and Troy. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, how much is this? Not that much. 330, 333, 334, 333, and one food, two food, one food, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Military access actually reduces it to two, so that's not really what I want. Uh, yeah, sure. Who are you again? You're the guy over here and over there. Yeah, let's do it. I, s I can do military alliance, but let's not go crazy, shall we? Okay. Then is there anything else that's changed because of that? Maybe I met more people or something? No. This person wants a military alliance real bad. I have a defensive alliance with you already. You know what? How I much can you pay me for this? Um, what about some bronze? I don't really ever ask for bronze. Yeah, bronze is pretty expensive. Let's drop that down to 200. And up that. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's, that's the maximum you've got. Well, in that case. 210. Ah, perfect. One more food? No. Alright. Yeah, I don't really ever ask for bronze, but that's... Quite. That's pretty good. That's not our military ally, though, which is not exactly what I was aiming for, but... It's okay. Alright. 
now we're making 159 bronze per turn, which I don't. I only have a thousand of, so that's like the one that I'm definitely having the most difficulty Lord acquiring. Of an ancient I don't have any bronze buildings or anything. Not that I have many other ones, to be fair, but still, it's mostly food around here. Let's end the turn. Please walk into my ambush. All of you. Preferably the army of 19. In, in March stance, especially. That'd be fantastic. Uh, I don't give shit away for free. Sorry. Not interested on my end. Oh! Oh my god, it's like a, it's like a straight up auto-resolve. It's like, it's so far in my favor. Holy crap, should I auto-resolve this? Oh god, the, two, the young spears. We're gonna ruin them. The harpies are dangerous, but I have four chariots. I can just charge them instantly. Should be okay. Oh man, this is a terror. Yeah, th these guys get ruined by ranged. I mean, they, te they technically counter my heavy axe warriors, but if I get any kind of shots or slingers on them, they take a lot of damage, and harpies are gonna ruin them. Ruin them! Okay, I think I kind of want to fight this, because it seems like a fun battle, but I feel like if I auto resolved it might actually kill the entire army off, which means I don't have to worry about it anymore. Otherwise, they're going to go back in their town again. But luckily, because there's a guy outside, I can actually attack the army and not have to fight the garrison inside. Unless he runs away, of course. Well, either way. I'm going to leave until next time, and I'll make the decision then. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Until then, have a good day, and goodbye.